Hello, now let's see, are we recording? I gotta scroll down here to see. Scroll, scroll, oh, yep, yeah, red light. Green light, huh? Okay, uh, this is responding to Ducky. You're welcome for writing back. And thank you for calling me a card. I think the word card is really nice. Oh, you're a card. That's really a good thing. Um, and I'm glad you love me. Um, let's see. You know, sometimes, like you said, um, I'm, I put my whole life on here. Like, um, I get up in the morning and I say something and I do something else and I say something and I keep talking to you guys. Um, I sometimes do like the Truman Show. Did you ever watch the Truman Show? That was a very funny, funny show. Was it funny? It was sort of weird. This fellow, um, didn't know it. He thought he was just living his life. But his wife would always wax prosaic, uh, prosaic? poetic. And she'd lift up some item in her kitchen. And she'd tip her head and she'd start commercialing about that. Thing. And it drove her husband nuts about what is, she's weird. You know? But um, he was on TV his whole life, 24 hours a day, was on TV. And I guess they blocked out little tiny certain things, you know, to keep them private. But um, basically, his whole life was on TV. And it turned out that he this this was all um, a set. The entire town of, of in Florida starts with an S. I forget what the name is. Anyway. The whole town was on um, was on TV, and it was all staged, and so everything happened at exactly the same time every day. And the, the characters in the town were in the places that he was when he was there, and the rest of the time they weren't there. It was all a set, and beautiful view of the ocean. And when you when he took a boat one day, and he got on this boat, and he went to the edge of the ocean and knocked on the sky, and it was a wall. <laughs> you know, he was. It was under the stone. Anyway, sometimes I think that putting my whole life on on here is kind of like the heat. It's like, should it be this way or the other way? There, like, like so. Oh, who cares? Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so, um, so yes, it is kind of interesting to put your whole life on here. Um, and I do care about your lives. I really like getting to know you. You said, um, you know, I probably don't want to know about your life, but I do. I mean, it's one thing to sit here and look at this little dot and a little black circle in the middle of my laptop, and that's not people. You know, you can't live a life talking to a, a dot or a little light. It's the people out there beyond it that make it worthwhile, and I really love hearing from you. And personal messaging me is an awesome idea that nobody else sees. And it's just between us, and I do answer. I, I answer them first because those are the first ones I come to, and I also think they're important. Okay, let me see. What did you say? Oh yes, you had a heart attack. I had a heart attack too a year ago, and I didn't have a stent put in. I just had. I have a five centimeter long blockage, ninety five percent blockage on a small vessel, and I think that the capillaries have taken the stuff around it. I don't know. I take all these pills, so I'm not supposed to be able to have a heart attack. But you never know. When the Lord, when it's the Lord's time, I'm gonna go. I won't stay longer than He wants me here, and I won't leave earlier. Oh, <laughs> my husband says something wonderful. He says, "Eat right, stay fit, die anyway." <laughs> you will. We all will die anyway. But anyway, do what you want. Um, let me see. What else did I say? heart attack and I got um I got depressed and I couldn't remember my my fun things I do I really love it when I have um ideas oh man when I've got ideas when I can wake up in the morning with an idea it's just <gasps> it's a gift from heaven this morning I woke up and I thought I want to print out those pug pictures and I'm going to start working on them for candy and I had it all figured out and of course it came down and I Printer's connected to my husband's computer. My husband's computer's internet connection isn't as perfect as mine is. So anyway, it wouldn't do my Gmail and it wouldn't find that picture, and so it didn't print it out, which was a little bit frustrating. But I know what you mean about um, finding yourself again after a heart attack. 
it does throw you for a loop. It does, it's like you become aware of your own mortality. Hello? You know, I had a head-on collision three years ago, or two years, whatever. The year before my heart attack, I think, was a head-on collision, and I got whiplash. And it was, um, I was in a school bus, I was driving the school bus, and somebody else didn't make the curve, and they came over and they smashed into me on my side of the road. It was a double C curve, a double S curve, so it was very, um, it was a very dangerous blind curve anyway, but anyway, I was doing the right thing. I wasn't guilty. Thank goodness, that would have been terrible to be guilty with all those little lives. Anyway, they were teenagers, they weren't little, but, um... To, to come face to face with that truck coming right at me. It was a pickup truck, and I was in a school bus. It was a van school bus, but luckily I was more powerful than it. I can't believe it. If I had been in any other vehicle, I would not be here talking to you. But, um, what was I saying? The school bus was, oh yeah, my mortality. When that school bus was, or when that truck was coming right at me, and I saw it, and I knew that there was nowhere I could go, that the roads were bad. If I turned in any direction, I would just fishtail or spin or flip or anything would have happened. But so I just slowed down. But I didn't, I didn't put my foot on the brake. I just let go of the gas because I didn't want to slide. Anyway, so he hit me head on, bang, right in the front. And while I was watching him come at me in that long, long second beforehand, I thought, a head-on collision? Me? In my life? This isn't supposed to happen. Well, we have it all figured out. What's going to happen in our lives? How we're going to go out in these, these trials, these situations we get, they just blindside us, you know? Sometimes we get a, we get a clue about something that's going to happen and we can avoid it, but I had no clue that day. I had no clue. I was clueless. Anyway, so those those sort of things. Hey, what else did you say here? Oh, the problem that you might be having with your hot process. When it all crumbles up after you do it in the crock pot and it turns like Vaseline, if you take it out right away, it will somehow, just touching the air, dries the edges and it won't stick together have to let it cool down. I know you think, oh, you can't let it cool down because look what happens when it cools down and dries up. But no. If you take the crock pot off the heat, turn the heat off, and leave it for 15 minutes or some undetermined amount of time, and then when it cools down enough, you can stir your fragrances in and they won't flash off. You know, they won't go away. And, um, and maybe your color, if you're doing color or something like that. But, Anyway, then, when you scoop it into your mold, and you, you pick up your mold and you drop it so that it's, um, it bangs down into the mold, that will, um, it will stick together. It, it has to be a little bit cooler before it will not do that. Something about the, the shock of the cooler air, when it comes out of the crock pot, it just dries all the sides of it up whatever the piece is that you've taken out, and it's a, you have a terrible time trying to get it together. Also, if you stir it a lot when it's in the crock pot, forget it. It'll just become, you know, separate, dried entities. So that's, that's what I found. Okay, what else did you say? No, you're not overcooking it. Um... Thank you for wishing that you could help with this camera. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that have terrible financial situations or just any financial situations where it's not it's not a good idea to help with something like this. That's okay because some very generous people have already helped and there is now money. I have to be very careful that I don't go further into debt doing this because I can't you know, jeopardize us either. So I really appreciate everybody that's helped. Um, anyway, I like chatting with all of you. And so, this is sort of for Ducky, but it's also for other people out there that might relate. And I do love making soap too, but I've run out of room.